The countdown is on to the most consequential rocket launch in a generation. NASA's Artemis program aims to one day return astronauts to the moon for the first time in more than half a century. We have a lot going on, but we need to stop and, and, and be in that moment and celebrate that success because the team that makes that possible, they've been working on this for years. On Monday, NASA is set to launch Orion, an unmanned spacecraft that will travel around the moon to make sure everything is good to go when the first mission with astronauts on board launches in 2024. So we're going to do a close approach of the moon. We'll only be about 60 miles from the surface of the moon. In anticipation of Monday's big launch, watch parties are now popping up across the country. NASA has registered more than 6,500 gatherings in homes, schools, museums, and planetariums to witness history. If you're near Huntsville, Alabama, head to the U.S. Space and Rocket Center where you can watch Artemis take flight just a stone's throw away from the Saturn V rocket used during the Apollo missions to bring some of the first astronauts to the moon. Powering Orion's launch will be NASA's highly anticipated Space Launch System, or SLS. It's the world's most powerful rocket, 36 stories high, taller than the Statue of Liberty. NASA has many goals for the Artemis program, including establishing a permanent moon base that can serve as a stepping stone to visiting Mars. The program will also launch the first woman and the first person of color to the moon. This mission being successful is a, a sign to the world and to the American people that, that we've been doing our best with your resources. And, and, and so thank you. We owe them that. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.